want to take a look up at the night sky because some of the planets are reaching peak brightness. That's right. As the sun begins to rise, Amanda Holly joins us live to explain what's going on and what to look for. Hey, Amanda. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're up here on the fourth floor of our WFLA building, and even as the sun rises right now, we can still see Venus because it is so bright in the eastern sky. Now it's pretty good above the horizon now, but it is about the only thing left besides the sun because it is so bright and it's actually going to continue to get brighter and brighter as we head through the middle of next week. So it rises about two hours before sunrise, so you can see it on the horizon all morning long, long all throughout dawn, and then it's still visible, still about 30 minutes after sunrise because it's so bright again brightest through the middle of next week. But even after that, you'll still be able to see it and actually through the middle of February kind of cool here rising with Venus will be Mars and Mercury right below it. Now they won't be nearly as bright as Venus is, but you should be able to distinguish those two other planets as well as Venus amongst the other stars just because they are will they will be a little bit brighter. So something to look for on your morning commute each day. Again, still seeing Venus right now at about 715 in the morning. It'll start to go away here over the next few minutes, though, guys. Yes, yeah, and I think most people would just look up and just assume that that was a star, a bright yeah, star, a bright star, but hey, or even Jupiter, Jupiter. Every, everyone thinks uh, the brightest ones are Jupiter, but not not right now. Not today. It's Venus's time to shine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Amanda.